The visas being granted yesterday was just so wonderful. It was a wonderful morning when I picked up those visas. My name is Sean McFessel, and three of my friends are currently being held in a Veen prison in Iran. My friends and I were living in Damascus, studying Arabic. Shane was doing a little journalism. Sarah was teaching English, and Josh had just arrived. And Sarah had a week off work, and we decided that Iraqi Kurdistan would be a good place to visit. My friends were very anxious to go hiking and get out into nature. We'd all been in these sort of smoggy big cities for weeks on end. number of Iraqi refugees but it's in the millions and um, you know here in Syria it's just people are just in limbo you know Iraqis are doing the best they can to get you know through each day they have no stability um, and they're just hoping for resettlement because really it's the only way out of this situation Time comes when everything you ever thought you knew Comes crashing down and flames rise up in front of you This is Shane Bauer. It's David Martinez. Well, we spent about five weeks with SLA. We became curious about what's happening there, and um, I went to see what was going on in 2006 and saw that there were a lot of pieces missing from from the discussion of what's, what's happening there. The Sudan Liberation Army are a group of of people from Darfur that rose up against the Sudanese government in 2003 demanding um, equal distribution of wealth which meant development in Darfur. Um, there's no roads in Darfur, um, very little schools, clinics, there's no electricity, no clean water. So they're demanding these basic services that were that existed in the center of Sudan. So these guys that we were hanging out with in this SLA battalion said we know where there's this hole where we can actually swim. There's all these, these kind of aspects about being with these, with these guys. It's not like you're with these kind of um, war-crazed people. It's just these regular guys that sit around and play cards and go swimming when it's hot. Even before the peace is lost, who are the prophets for? <laughs> Josh Patal as my main, my main man, my main contact with Aprovecho, who has been coming here for all the work parties. We only cook on wood at Aprovecho, but we've also, but we recently, last year we built our, um, our pizza oven. The main thing when you're cooking pizza or cooking bread, when you're, when you have the radiant heat from the, from the bricks, when you're cooking on the brick hearth oven, you will, um, it comes out different, and it comes out. Uh, it comes out like the bread you had for lunch. Of peace and freedom. Where are the courts now when we need them? Why is impeachment not on the table? We better stop them. You know, they, they, I'm sure they also think of the millions of people around the world that are not able to get out of prison, that have no advocacy, that have no. Um, no one on the outside, you know, with money or time or a voice to defend them or help them. Depends on who you trust to identify the enemy Who took this country to war Long before the peace was lost Who are the prophets for? Thank you.